Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Detailed Recipes channel. In this video, I tried to make the best gingerbread for you. I said the best gingerbread because I used crystallized ginger here, not ginger powder. When you want to make a healthy snack you can make the simplest cake or cookie. You can make these cookies whenever you want to do an activity with your kids at home. Ingredients for making gingerbread cookies I use these crystallized ginger that came as a gift from Olive Nation Company. Round-shaped sliced ginger can be eaten this way as a snack, I can say I like it. As you can see, it has a fragile structure, I didn't think of ginger as a sweet snack, I have to say that it burns a little throat, and I read that it is a healthy natural product. 60 grams of margarine and some salt. 1 egg. 3 spoons of yogurt. Half a glass of sugar. 3 spoons of oil. 1 spoon of lemon juice. 5 grams of powdered vanilla. 1 teaspoon of baking soda. Can be 2.5 glasses of flour, or up to 3 glasses. Take the ingredients out of the refrigerator beforehand, and it will be good to be at room temperature. Break the egg into the mixing bowl. Add sugar. Add lemon juice. Add yogurt. Add oil. Mix until sugar dissolves. Prepare sifted wheat flour. Add flour gradually into the liquid material. When it is too stiff to be mixed with a whisk, add the margarine and start mixing by hand. Add vanilla. Add flour and continue to knead by hand. Finally, squeeze some lemon on baking soda and add. Pour the dough on the counter and continue kneading with your hand until it is smooth. You will get a soft consistency dough. 2.5 glasses of flour are used here. After kneading the dough, add some flour and press the dough with a roller. It does not need to be a smooth shape, just make sure that the dough is evenly thin. Prepare a glass according to the length and diameter of the cookie you will make. After expanding and opening the dough completely, prepare round doughs by pressing them with a the cup mouth. Dot knead the remaining part of the dough again and open it with a roller and shape it by cutting it with a glass. Mm -hmm. 
You can cut it according to the amount of cookies you want to make. You can make plain cookies this way if you want, then you can apply chocolate or jam, fruit marmalade on it. Add the crystallized ginger to the dough. Ginger can be very thick, in this case there is a possibility of burning your throat when you eat, divide them in half and thin. Add ginger to half of the dough and cover them. Place baking paper on the baking sheet and add the gingerbread cookies. Do not try to press and glue them to each other, they will swell and stick together while cooking. Place it by leaving a little space so they don't touch each other. If you want to secure your job, you can press it on four sides with your fingertip. Baked at 180 degrees in 15 minutes, it may vary in other ovens, I can say that I did not preheat the oven. For example, if I had preheated the oven, the cooking time would have been shorter and it would have taken 11 minutes. Bake cookies evenly on top and bottom and remove from oven. Do not keep gingerbread cookies in a hot tray, pour them on a cloth, and let them cool. Add powdered sugar with a strainer. After adding powdered sugar to the cookies, do not put them in a closed container, there will be a softening problem, you can cover them with a non-nylon fabric that will breathe. I made a presentation by placing it on a plate to show you. I recommend you take a look at the Olive Nation official website, I will leave a link to the description section, there are many different foods and you can find many natural products. We have come to the end of a detailed video recipe prepared for you. Thanks to everyone who watched the videos from start to finish and supported me. See you again in a new video, goodbye.